Hello everyone, and welcome back to our YouTube channel, Eagle Wish. We are so glad to have you with us. In this video, we are excited to dive into another awesome biology investigatory project, Immunity. Before we get started, let's take a quick look at our roadmap for this video. Here's an index outlining all the key areas we'll be exploring in this video. First of all, we want to give a huge shout out to everyone who helped us bring this project to life. We're thrilled to share our project certificate and a heartfelt acknowledgement to all those amazing individuals. So what is immunity anyway? We'll kick things off with a brief introduction to this essential defense system. In simple terms, immunity is your body's superhero shield against disease. It's all about recognizing and eliminating those pesky harmful invaders. It's a combination of defenses you're born with and defenses you develop over time. Now, let's explore the two main categories of immunity. Check out this handy flow chart to see how it all breaks down. First up is innate immunity. Think of it as your body's first responders, always ready to defend against anything that looks suspicious. Innate immunity is quick, nonspecific, and includes some amazing physical, physiological, cellular, and cytokine barriers that work together to keep you safe. We'll take a look at some key examples. But what happens when the innate defenses aren't enough? That's where our next superhero comes in. Adaptive immunity. Adaptive immunity is the super smart, highly trained specialist of the immune system. It learns to recognize specific invaders and create long-lasting protection. It relies on specialized immune cells called lymphocytes, T cells and B cells, and those amazing antibodies. So how does adaptive immunity work? Well, it can be categorized in two, one the basis of a vector molecule and other on the basis of its development. Let's pause for a quick comparison. We will study the differences between innate and adaptive immunity. Here's a table for it. First, let's examine adaptive immunity based on effector molecules. Humoral immunity. Humoral immunity is like sending in a team of targeted missiles. Those missiles are the antibodies. These antibodies are produced by B lymphocytes. These antibodies roam through the bloodstream, identify those extracellular pathogens. Cellular immunity is more like sending in a specialized strike force. Instead of antibodies, specialized immune cells called T lymphocytes directly attack infected cells, tumor cells, or foreign tissues. Time for another comparison. Here's a concise table highlighting the differences between humoral and cellular immunity. Now, we'll shift gears and explore how immunity develops. We will start with active immunity. Active immunity is like building your own superhero suit. When exposed to an antigen, your body gears up and actively builds its own defenses like antibodies or immune cells. It is through infection or vaccination. Next, we'll look at passive immunity. It is for short term only. Passive immunity is like borrowing a superhero suit. This type of immunity occurs when a person receives pre-made antibodies, providing immediate but temporary protection. Want a quick recap? Here's a table to highlight the differences between active and passive immunity. Now let's discuss about antibody. Antibodies are Y-shaped proteins, like tiny guided missiles, crafted by B cells to neutralize specific threats and are the central role in immune response. There are five types of immunoglobulin, IgG, IgA, IgM, IgE, and IgD. Last but not least, we want to give you a brief overview on autoimmunity when the superhero goes rogue. Finally, we will provide our sources under bibliography. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.